chapter 1 resources and development first of all what is resource in the definition we have to remember five things available in our environment so satisfy our needs technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable such things we can call we can term as resource and the classification of resource there are four classification of resource first one on the basis of origin second on the basis of exhaustibility third on the basis of ownership and fourth on the basis of the status of development these are the broad classification of resources we can discuss in detail each one among these four classification of resources we can take the first one among the four classification of resources the first one is on the basis of origin on the basis of origin it is again divided into two first one biotic resource obtained from biosphere and have life example human beings flora and fauna fisheries and livestock second abiotic resources abiotic resources which are composed of non living things example rocks and metals these are the two sub classification of among the first on the basis of the origin then the second classification of resource on the basis of exhaustibility it is also divided into two first one renewable resources which can be renewed or reproduced example solar and wind energy non renewable resources these occur over a very long geological time minerals and fossil fuels are the example for non renewable resources this is the second on the basis of exhaustibility the third classification of resources on the basis of ownership this coming on the basis of ownership on the basis of ownership it is divided into four first one individual resources owned privately by individuals plots houses property plantation etc community owned resources second one which are accessible to all members of the community example public parks picnic spots playgrounds etc third national resources all minerals water resources forest and also oceanic area up to 12 nautical miles coming in this category then fourth international resources the oceanic resources beyond 200 nautical miles that is the exclusive economic zone without the permission of the international agency nobody can take the resources from there this is on the basis of ownership it is divided into four then the last classification of resources on the basis of the status of development first one potential resources which are found in a region but have not been utilized second developed resources which are surveyed and quality and quantity determined then stock which have potential to satisfy our needs but we do not have appropriate technology reserve which can be put into use with the help of existing technical know how but their usage it is not started till this time